Hello guys, I have some tips and tricks here uh, with some shortcuts from the game that might help you in your gameplay if you are a beginner in Ring of Elysium. Okay, so first uh, we have uh, Control H which enables first person view. Then you have uh, Control I which turns off the HUD. Then you have uh, weapon preview by pressing O or you can holster the weapon by X which I didn't record, I'm sorry. Uh, here are some settings that I use. Uh, I'm showing this mainly because of the auto peak. Some people were asking me about auto peak so you have to have enabled uh, these two. Enable auto peak and enable auto peak in ADS mode. You have to look for these uh, small arrows, they will show up. And if you are in ADS mode like this, they are not showing. And if you are having uh, the angle to the left, uh, it will not work. So you have to press uh, the middle mouse button to be able to use it. So here's the those small arrows. Uh, then we have uh, boosters. So this is without pressing S while you are going up to the booster. So this is quite a big advantage for players that know about this. So you are pressing it until you stop going up and that's the highest you can go. Uh, stack airdrop means there are no real players closer than 470 meters uh, around it. Next, uh, the badge next to your name, you get it by being in top 100 players in the leaderboard in the previous season. Which means if we don't get another season, you will be not able to get this badge. Character skins and skins for the weapons you get from crates by buying them with e-points or coins. So the e-points are the yellow ones which you have to pay for or get from adventure pass. The grey coins, silver coins, which you get for playing. Uh, if you get two uh, skins, like the same ones, you will not get them both but they will be changed to tokens. And for the tokens you can exchange them for another skins. So you go to App Store, Token Shop, and then you can see how many tokens you have, and you can choose some nice skins for them. And here are my uh, general settings when I'm doing live stream so basically when I'm doing uh, edited videos I use uh, ultra settings or the highest ones uh, but when I'm streaming I I set them up like this so the game doesn't look uh, too bad but still I like to have the highest settings possible alright and I think that uh, that will be it so Thanks for watching, hope I helped you a little bit and I will see you in the game.